Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Kingmaker Enhanced Edition with me, Bring It On. Before we go into the River Blades camp, we do want to rest. Let's go ahead and just reset. Reset everybody. He will be our cook, because let's see, plus 35, plus 41. Alright, she is significantly better. Let's see, camp camouflage, 2131. He will be on hunting. So effective management, what does that do? Reduces it by one hour. I'd rather just not be found. He could just go and watch. And then for the sake of this upcoming area, we'll, we'll do Albert Omelette. Sure. <laughs> Will I really never be as famous as you? As famous as me? Probably not. But don't despair. You have your whole life ahead of you. Always remember, keep writing. And never for the desk drawer. Write everything for the purposes of being read and discussed. Praised, cursed, that part doesn't matter. Look at you, Bloss. Inspiring Lindsay. Like, again... First impressions with him, he's like, all right, don't like this guy, but he grows on you. He is overall just a, a good guy. Definitely one of the better companions in the game, in my opinion. Um, Ekodayo being the best. While well, he doesn't say a lot, his actions usually speak much louder than his words. He's always got your back. And I, I really appreciate that. All right, destroy the bandit camp. First things first. Require my assistance? Ona Adayana Lissano Danium Inimosi Travisi Inimosi Travisi Inimosi Travisi Inimosi Travisi Inimosi Travisi Inimosi Travisi Again, I probably don't need all of these buffs, but better safe than sorry. And let's see. I'm still here. All right, that'll probably be enough for now. Let's quick save and then go deal with these. Look ahead. In due time. Just letting the ink dry. Those peasants, you knucklehead. What else do you expect them to have? Silverware? Fine mahogany furniture, perhaps? Some nice tall and paint paintings? Let's make this quick. Nope, wrong one. There we go. Oh, see, try. Alright, I do not want them to go past the trap. A clever boy. Cannot hide from me. But I just hold for a second. What was that? Oh, wah, wah. What sort of death scream is that? This will hurt. prevail. Does it matter?
I give. I give. Please don't kill me. I'm not interested in dying for Irivetti. Let the dirty creep get someone from his fancy thieves guild in here. See how they like this job. Or the way he gets handsy. The bandit wipes blood from his from her lips with the back of her hand. I have no grudge against you. Irvetti just didn't give me a chance. Who are you? My name is Alora Nusky, chief of the River Razors. What's left of us. Between you and Irvetti. The scoundrel found us, pinned us down, and gave us a choice. He could kill us all, or we could take our chances fighting your kingdom. We did what he said, of course. It at least gave us a chance to survive. What was your role in the camp? The usual. Gathered, gathered information from scouts, planned out attacks, recruited and trained new members. But fighting a war is way different than day-to-day -day banditry along a river or highway. Our gang dwindled by the day. Irvetti just wanted to throw us into this bloodbath so we could damage you as much as possible before dying. Are you saying Irvetti flandered with you? To put it mildly, he hounded me like he had a swarm of wasps in his pants. Last time I was in Patox, he'd gone crazy. I was just walking down a palace hallway when I met him, and then he was holding this strange wooden sword. I have no idea where he got it from, but he's manic about it now. When he got close, he touched me with the sword, I think by accident. But he turned immediately and tried to pin me against the wall. I pushed him away and was ready to knock him one, but I stopped myself. He could have had me killed for that. Since getting that wooden stick, it's like he's completely lost his mind. And you're not from the Thieves' Guild? No. We have our own gang. Good as any. Well had. Irvetti promised the guild exclusive rights to all the orders in Patax. Not that his word is worth anything. Yeah, I'll spare your life, but don't expect such leniency next time. You have a good soul, and you fight like a wolf. I'm glad Irvetti will have more trouble to deal with. Maybe we'll meet again. So last time I killed all these guys, this time... I'm going to try sparing them and see if they uh, appear later. Because I think there's three bandit leaders in this area. I'm there. Enjoy your final moments. Interesting. I'm positive I found something. Warding Helmet. Summon grants us wear a constant effect of Death Ward spell. That's okay. So I mean, I have plenty of Death Ward spells available. I'm off. I guess if you aren't running like a cleric or something, maybe that'd be useful. But I consider a cleric one of the essential... Essential classes in any party. I'm there. I see you guys. Wait, don't attack. I just work here. I wish you no harm. Yeah, to arms. They're surrounding us. The woman's expression suddenly shifts. Could have chatted a few more minutes, you devil. All right, fellows, out of the bushes. We'll fight in the open. Look at epic pose. I need inspiration. <laughs> He's taking a beating. There we go. Bob throws gloves. The word kaboom is embroidered on these gloves underlays. Plus the equipment bonus to attack rolls with bombs and a difficulty check. Mm -hmm. 
Is that all? I thought there was another camp. I guess that's it. Okay. Yeah, I should have definitely had protection from fire for this area, especially with all the alchemists. They had throwing fire bombs at us. Time to act. In due time. There's something here. I don't think there's anything I missed. Right, we go to the ornate ruins. I'm glad you and called. Lindsay was called forth. I'm so damn. All right, let's get into it. I don't think we'll struggle through here. I'm not worried about I'm buffing out. Of course, we don't have any poison stuff, right? Patience. My skills are getting rusty. I'm open to your orders. I wrote it like I saw it. So I'll just hit him hard and fast, real quick. Let's go. You to the it. dust. Ah! Oh, Seventy-five was pretty. Oh wow, wait, what? What? He did one constitution. All right, he does have poison. I'm always ready. <sighs> Let's see, do we have... I knew he's gonna have poison. I was looking for delayed poison communal, but uh, Harem's the only one that has it, and it's not um, it's not available right now. Yeah. In due time. Just letting the ink dry. We have to try and take him down before. I wrote it like I saw. Before he's able to, um. A clever ploy. Where's it at? Should I have whole person? All right. Well, whatever then. We'll do it the hard way. Repent. What? All right, well, he's dead now, so it doesn't matter. 
What a nuisance. Fate render. So it has a plus five, plus five double axe. Whenever its first blade lands a hit, it marks the target for an execution. Whenever the second blade hits a marked target, it removes the mark and deals additional one to 10 plus wood or strength modifier damage. That's really good. It's a very, very good weapon. What the heck did he use to kill? Oh, death throws. That's when he died. Where is... He's immune to fire blast, so Canero is useless here. Good times. Right, so we could, could go to Hemlock Island. I kind of want to do Reg's quest. Well, let's just go to Hemlock Island. We'll figure it out from there. Or a little town. That's an important area. I'm going to rest before I go in, though. I was thinking, Lindsay, maybe when our journey is over, I'll need, let's say, a secretary. Someone smart who can write down my invaluable thoughts. You mean me? Oh, I don't know. Of course, you are a bastion of science, master of the quill, and so on. But I'm kind of used to writing whatever I want. All right, so Little Town, if you remember, is the place with the... Uh... It is a pirates, right? It's a pirate bastion. But it's also where that one guy was stationed by Irvetti that we read about at the Rushlight Tournament. Adventures call to them. Let's see, where's it at? I'm gonna use my spells a little more sparingly this time. So I don't plan on resting between every area that we do. Taste my fury. What? Okay, that's fine. Serves you right. I see something. Let's go back and loot that pile real quick. Let's 
Sky Metal Cogwheel. Let's finish them quick. This will hurt. I said the Toxic Wardens are pretty tough. I have protection from arrows, thank goodness. The um, gosh, I remember there's an area later on, a little bit further into the game that gave me a lot of trouble, which I feel like really shouldn't have had. There. Oh, so it looks like they actually got away. Ha! Primitives. Enjoy your final moments. This is the last pamphlet, the, the delivery from the academy. They won't print any more for us. This isn't about. It'll be fine. We'll make it work. In due time. All right. Now everything's been cleared out except for the inside over here. It seems no one noticed your entrance over the bustling noise of the tavern. The young half-elf with long, slicked-back hair and delicately curled mustache and beard is making a solemn speech. He draws and flourishes with his hands, and his pretentious red face makes it obvious that he's enjoying everyone's attention. Laughter and shouts of approval can be heard from the main table. Many other guests aren't participating in the gaieties, however. Some are yawning, while others aren't even listening to the speaker as they focus on their meals. Ivar. So Ivar, if you remember, from uh, Silverstep Lake or Silverstep Village was the werewolf. But what's this? Your friend Ivar sits with a long face, picking at a hunk of meat with his fork. The speaker raises his voice once more, and Ivar winces. So let's raise our cups, my brothers in arms and drinking comrades. Here's to the most enlightened monarch of our times, who brought prosperity and culture to Patox. That skillful commander, famous the world over for his military genius, to the ladies' man, who's broken so many hearts with his humble charm and aloof attitude. To that patron of the arts and philanthropist, whose generosity is matched only by his wisdom and taste. In short, here's to Irvedi. A chorus of voices repeats the toast. Many drink up, but far from everyone. What a farce. His melodramatic eulogies are nauseating. Shh. Hush. Uh, he'll hear you. He'll hear you. Oh my goodness. He'll hear you and make a scene again. Just like last time. Finally, after emptying his glass, the half-elf notices you. Good gods. Look, my brothers and sisters. Look who it is. Is that not Don Victorson himself? Did you come in your dirty boots and tattered hand-me-downs to spoil our feasts with that gloomy, hungry look? Tell you what. If you abdicate the throne and swear allegiance to Patox, I'll find a bone to throw you. Some of the dinner guests roar with laughter, while others look at you with interest, maybe even hope. Everyone stops talking and watches you. Ha ha who? That has to be one of the most childish, tasteless, awkward rebukes I've heard in my life. Yes, definitely top of the list. A familiar face. Ivar, it's been a long time. How are you? Better now that you're here. It's nice to see an honest face. I didn't realize just how tired I'd grown of Irvedi and his hangers on. You become the king glorified in legends, just as I foretold. Well, perhaps there'll be room in that legend for me. Traitor. What else should we expect from a changeling, though? Beasts know no loyalty. Deplorable, traversant... The things you'll say to get a reaction. Alright. Free singers and poets but talks. How much longer will you be oppressed by Irvedi? He who gags all discontent, lets only his favorites perform, and chokes art while pretending to be his patron. Stand beside me and fight. Not for me, but for freedom. The soft murmur that began running through the hall during your speech swells into a roar. I won't write to di I won't write to dictation any longer. Down with Irvedi, long lived on Victus. 
What? Do you hear that? Pygmies and epigons. Epi epigons? Epigones? I don't know what that is. Complain that they're not allowed to slander a giant among men. Our protector, Irivetti. My spirit seems, friends. Let's show these vile traitors the bright flame held in our loyal hearts. The beginning of the hunt. And now we kill. Such is the way of things. Akpo will figure it out. I'm not gonna micromanage him. I'll let him sort it out himself. Can I talk to Ivar? Hello again, Don Victus. Ivar, human once more catches his breath. I can't say your appearance was unexpected, but it was certainly impressive. I didn't expect to see you again. What brought you here? That's a long story. After we parted ways at Lake Silverstep, I went seeking a way to control my curse. Both my curses, really. My drivel could also be considered a curse of sorts. Or maybe just a dangerous gift. Maybe a just... I think it's supposed to be just a... Well, I failed to oust the beast from inside me, but I thought I could try to at least do something of use with my tails. So I enrolled in Patox's Academy of Grand Arts. I thought it'd be a suitable place to learn to control my words. And it was to an extent. But I also saw how words could be weapons. My family was killed due to my stupidity and a deadly accident, Ivar says bitterly. The bards in Patox, especially here in Little Town, are learning to direct those skills toward murder and manipulation. And I'm afraid they really seem to know what they're doing. Oh, Ivar, you should have talked to us. The Academy is the last place you should have tried to learn what you needed. I mean, there are a few good cor courses and teachers there. The Lady Bellavara, for example. But generally, it's a horrid place. Really. Uh, what happened here in Littletown? All kinds of sordid things, Ivar frowns. At first, they wouldn't tell us where we were being sent. But once we were there, things began in earnest. There were lectures, general meetings, we wrote pamphlets and songs. Whether the topic was love or war didn't matter. So long as... So long as at least so long as at least one of the lines was used to smear you, Don Victus. I quickly realized what was going on, but I decided to stay stay anyway. I figured sooner or later the ardent king would show up, and I get a chance to thank him for sparing my life and teaching me a valuable lesson. You're still a werewolf. How do you live with it? The priest I consulted about lifting the curse couldn't help me. Maybe it was because I because I'm not ready to forgive myself. Not yet. But something has changed. Ivar rubs the bridge of his nose pensively. I didn't hide who I was from the Academy's bards, and they weren't afraid of me. They didn't like me as much, but they weren't afraid. To them, my ability to assume an animal appearance just seemed like another kind of natural gift, dangerous though it may be, not so different from the gift of magic to them. Once I began thinking about it, I realized that, now that I didn't have to lie and hide, it became easier for me to control my transformations. I know who I am. I know I can bring death and misery, but I can handle it, and maybe I can help those in need. It was an interesting lesson. And what will you do next? Travel. The further the, the further the better. My debt to you is paid, but now Irivetti's people will have cause to wish me dead. The world is huge and full of new discoveries to be made. I'll find my own way. Well, thank you for your help. Farewell. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. Farewell to you as well, my king. May your legend continue. I don't think he shows up again later. I think that's the last time we see Ivar. Though he might show up later. Because again, uh, towards the end of the game, a lot of your... A lot of the NPCs you helped out along the way do show up to assist you. Which is always a nice touch. I really, really like that in games. Because it shows that your actions have consequences. See, I don't want this. It doesn't weigh anything, so I just grab it. Alright, so we're going to head towards Hemlock Island. And then we'll probably do that next episode. Oh, 
but I'm not actually sure how to get there. Sting would be nice, don't you think? Why don't we set up camp? All right, let's rest. I've looked through your essays on spices. Who is this Guisa Nordicani, and why is her name on the cover next to yours? Because some judges are corrupt scoundrels who know nothing about copyright, co-author indeed. She scarcely sharpened my quills. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it here. In the next episode, we'll explore uh, Hemlock Island. And I guess we'll see if we can enter Patox. There's going to be a lot of uh, dialogue in Patox. A lot of stuff going on. But we'll also get... We'll probably gain... We'll level up at least once, maybe twice. Uh, there's a lot of experience to be had in Patox. I should have used chocolate ice cream. Next time I rest, I'll make sure to use uh, chocolate ice cream to increase my... My skills. Um, I still want to do Reg's quest, but we can wait on that for now. Let me check my key as well. So we still have three monsters we have to kill. Again, I know where one of them for sure is. Uh, right here. And there's two more we have to kill. I don't know where they are. Anyway, gonna call it here. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.